Hi friends, this is Tarang Sajdeva from Goa Institute of Management and today I have a very special guest. It's Mr. Samarjeet Singh, the CEO and founder of Ixula. Hi sir, Hi. I welcome you to the Take 5 at GIM and it is Grand Alumni Meet 2016. So we welcome you back to Goa Institute of Management. It's my pleasure. How is it the feeling sir? Uh, it's like homecoming. <laughs> well, uh, I must say uh, that it has been a truly entrepreneurial life that he has been living. He has come from the ashes. He's actually personifying the saying, rising from the ashes. Let's look at the journey. So first question that comes, how has been this journey so far? Because it has been over 20 years of experience in the industry and you started as a, as a as in somebody working at eBay, rising from Bazi.com and now making Ixula possible. How has been this journey? Actually, if you'll see, my journey has been predominantly entrepreneurial itself. Uh, mm -hmm. I passed out of uh, GIM and straight away got into setting up a startup with few friends. Uh, it was interesting learning because uh, we we completely made it bomb. Uh, so it was, I think it was good because it was failure earlier. Uh, you're younger to absorb it and I think you're ignorant to absorb it better is the way I will say it. Uh, so that was one and then I immediately moved on to start a company called Taj Online. Um, I, I was a junior partner, there were two senior guys uh, whom, with whom I started. But you will see that though the whole business bombed, but uh, my inclination again went towards another startup. So, so as they say, when the bug bites, then the bug bites, right? Uh, and then that business, we were successful. We, we exited that business in the next two years to starting uh, a company called Chai Time bought us mm -hmm. out. Uh, and there's a very interesting separate journey, we'll talk separately about it, that how we bought the company back and resold it in 2008. Uh, from there on, uh, I moved on to be part of a company called Bazi. Uh, so Bazi was getting set uh, at that time. There were very few people in the country who had uh, experience of one or two years, uh, and I had two years in e-retail, so I was pretty experienced that, in that respect. So I, I became part of the core team. Okay. And uh, so again, it was an entrepreneur venture. It was a three-year journey. 2005, we successfully exited that to eBay. And uh, that was my first experience, as you said, to work with a large company. Right. Uh, it was a pretty interesting experience uh, in, in a lot of respect. Uh, I, I wanted to know uh, that why large companies are large. And okay. I think, uh, and why, la why new small companies come up, I got both the answers uh, during that stint for around 20, about 30 months with eBay. Uh, and then um, it was very clear, but we were under contract to finish that term. And the day we finished it, we, I moved on to set up uh, Ixla. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, uh, since you're asking from a context of uh, taking the risk or something, right. um, I think I, I'm not that sharp to evaluate it. So I just take it, right? <laughs> right? That's the way it is, right? Uh, I didn't think that much or that uh, maybe I don't have an ability to evaluate that how bad it can be, so I only see the positives of it and I only see the uh, advantages of it and that's the way, because otherwise if you start thinking about it, it's quite risky, right? It's, you'll start saying this can go wrong, that can go wrong, this can go wrong, bankrupt. Can that work for you, sir, because uh, my next question was this, that majorly management students go for a job initially, an impressive one, an impressive paycheck, but then you took that step to live the entrepreneurial life and taking that risk, so what exactly was it? Was it your passion? You ever dreamt of something? There must be some driving force behind this dream. I think there was multiple things. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I won't say one. One was that uh, I've, I've, I've been a person who, 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 f who very strongly believes what he believes in. Right? Okay. Uh, so then I needed a, a platform to express it. Right? Uh, and, and I found that in, in another organization, that platform is very difficult to get uh, because the, the structure is already set, your boundary is clean, and, and see, it seems that my vision or my thinking was uh, not fitting into that. So I was, a, I, I was a ring in a square pin, right, or a square in a ring pin kind of a situation. So that was one driving force because I wanted to express myself and I needed a platform, that was one. Second, uh, somehow I felt that if you take a very challenging assignment, uh, it makes you a better a better human being. Uh, mm -hmm. So I felt you have two things in common. One is that you'll get to express what you want. Second is that uh, in return you can be far more smarter, better, sharper, uh, a better human being because what entrepreneurship does is it really hangs you on the wall. Uh, right? 
so whatever weaknesses you have you have to overcome them um, so i'm not very disciplined as a person so i needed that discipline <laughs> coming from the side of a challenger so i would rather disagree on that you say that you were not so disciplined and you talked about the bug that bites because uh, honestly from an, as in when you started as an entrepreneur i'm sure you never would have thought that exula would turn into one of the biggest e-commerce solution company with almost 1000 employee base now uh i, I think How that you connect the dots as in <laughs> now obviously uh, i didn't Uh, we felt that we'll make it big, we'll make it 1,000 people or we'll make 5,000 people was not clear. You are absolutely okay. right. Uh, we were clear that our 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 vision is clear, mm -hmm. uh, our purpose is very clear, um, our goal and mission is very very clear. Uh, and if we if we if we go down this path, something big should happen, right? And uh, very honestly, uh, I would say that you will find majority of the entrepreneurs normally do not look at results. Uh, okay. Results is what happened to them. They are more interested in saying, "How do I solve the problem at hand? How do I get to the next level?" And by the way, keep on the path which seems in my head to be the path of longer term. So one is that. To your question on how did I connect the dots, I think I'll add when you really that that Shahrukh Khan dialogue, na. If you love something very very deeply, the everything else starts falling into place, right? Yeah. That's the way. I would say it's, it's very true in that respect because you're so deep into it, you you really want to make it happen. Uh, even your stupid brain starts coming out with good ideas, right? Uh, and you come out with solutions which you have not thought about, you you've not thought through it. So I think I I seriously started thinking about oh if this can go wrong, I already need to think about. It. So we started making partnerships. So we made some very very good strategic partnerships, mm -hmm. which um, though I'm I may be sounding smart, but this is in hindsight, right? <laughs> but at that time it felt like it's like cover yourself ring fence yourself uh, make sure that make sure you do everything which can stop from things going wrong or can stop you from not growing so okay. i think and that comes from deep uh, involvement in what we are trying to do uh, in fact i i compare entrepreneurship to uh, raising a kid okay. it's very it, in a lot of ways it's very similar Uh, reason being because you will just do whatever it is right for that kid to be uh, done, and that's how you strongly if if you feel about your project, then the dots do get connected. You find ways to get good people. Uh, people don't join startups, right? Uh, especially non-funded startups like us who are scaling up on the cash flow, uh, convincing them, um, uh, uh, making them a party to your dream. One second is uh, so I'll tell you how how we solved the cash flow trouble. So we didn't had a cash flow, right? So uh, we went to a client. Whenever we used to sign a deal, uh, before the deal was about to sign, we will throw in a, uh, a a kicker. We will say that okay, we'll give you an additional two percent discount okay. if you give money in early or advance. Okay. So our cash flow problem <laughs> got solved. Mm -hmm. So we said that for the first three year period, we will not bother about that two percent margin. We will bother about the cash flow because uh, Indian ecosystem doesn't support you very well. So. Yeah. There's there's not banks ready to take risk on you on capital and all that. So we solved that problem. Then um, since I needed promoters and I couldn't, uh, I needed good senior leaders, but I couldn't afford a salary. So I created a structure by which we said that okay, if if you have X salary as a market salary, I'll pay you 0.2 X, uh, and the remaining 0.8 X gets into equity. Uh, okay. And would you be open to being part of it? So I don't know. I've never done this, <laughs> right? But it ha but it. Uh, it's very logical right uh, and especially because you you're very sure that if if you get that person your organization is going to grow right you need that person at any cost so then the brain ticks right similarly i gave an example of cash flow we solved it like that uh, then we had issues with offices uh, mm -hmm. so we started with a 1000 square foot office to now around 70000 square foit okay. uh, and so we took a 1000 square foot how do you get the next 1000 <laughs> the next 1000 so there's a lot of interesting technique uh, i think another interesting thing i've learned is that people who have good disposition mm -hmm. um, end up getting their ways through uh, okay. uh, when you talk to people somehow if you're very honest about what you think what you believe uh, all human beings understand it, uh, and they will understand and they'll do, they'll go out of the way to help you so i have so lucky that people have gone out of the way and really helped me uh, take a office and pay us later and, and i can see <laughs> when you talk about this journey because uh, my next question would be that is for every other management student because everyone is intrigued by uh, an entrepreneurial life yeah. and people want to know what connected the dots and you have given a lot of insights today to everyone 
But now a very important question that I want you to answer is, what will be your message to the people who are looking for an entrepreneurial life, want to get into startups, or maybe start their own ventures and they have a plan ready? So what will be your message to these leaders of tomorrow at Goa Institute of Management and other business schools? Uh, actually, uh, what I've seen is that majorly people focus on the what and the how of entrepreneurship. Uh, I would rather suggest that people should, a student should focus on the why of entrepreneurship. Okay. Uh, because I have seen that entrepreneurship has become one more career option. To me, entrepreneurship is not a career option, it's a lifestyle. Okay. Uh, it's a lifestyle which is far more riskier. Uh, it's a lifestyle where you work twice, twice hard. Uh, it's a lifestyle where you slog. Uh, it's a lifestyle where your family suffers, uh, but you still do it, <laughs> right? You still do it and it, it I think that if you if you need for creating something new, if you need for innovation, if you need for leaving a legacy, is very strong. You can you can pay the price of the other things I can do. So I would suggest that all the students should go deep and try to understand whether is that need very deep to them. If that need is very deep to them, then entrepreneurship is for them. Ideas in an economy like India, which is growing by close to double digit numbers, everything will happen. Uh, not today, tomorrow, day after. So I would rather say that let everybody focus on why, right? And, uh, sure and that should be a better and way and to I handle it. You answered their query because, uh, and I'm sure the message goes right there that if you have the answer why entrepreneurial life and you're ready to bite the dust, it's time to start your own journey. Yeah. So that was uh, Mr. Samarjit Singh, CEO and founder, Ixola. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It pleasure. was a pleasure hosting you at Take Five. We'll see you soon, guys. Thank you.